John Seesock out of Frackville, Pennsylvania. And he just over those buses with no problem. What about this next obstacle? Now, I was going to ask you about this really huge, huge trailer here. Is anybody going to be able to take this? I tell you one thing, if it's left when I get out there, I'm going to attack that thing with a foot to the floor and, and sort it out later. You know that. You know, one guy will go for it if he gets back out his loud Hancock. He'll try that baby to the other side in reverse. Well, we got a bunch of good guys coming up and yeah. try any obstacle out here. Seesock again. No one yet has used the entire two minutes. So if Seesock can somehow do that, he may be able to take the lead. And we want to remind you again that our leader gets to sit in a huge chair up here on this press box on top. They're kings until they're knocked off. And right now, the king is Scott Hartsock with 20 points. John really keeping up a lot of momentum, hitting everything out there, having a pretty good run right now. Now, the question is going to be for the judges, Mike. He has not really, though, been as spectacular as what we saw with Hartsock or to an extent Medusa. But it looks like he's going to use the whole run. But he may be saving something for the final 30 seconds. Let's yeah. see. He needs to step it up right here. It's where he really needs to play it down. You know, Hardsock set the bar mighty high. That's, that's definitely an understatement. I'll tell you. <laughs> he was flying mighty high, that's for sure. Only 15 seconds left. So John came out and was consistent, had some nice moves, but not spectacular as the other. Yeah, and we talked about our criteria for scoring well. You really have to get the crowd on its feet. You have to make some spectacular moves. And John Seesock really has not done that. So we'll see how the judges react. He did use his entire time.